The Financial Review published its annual rich list today and the usual suspects are contentedly diving into their money bins. Gina Reinhardt has won back-to-back -back premierships with $34 billion this year, but let's look at the total of the top 10, which is mostly the same faces. They're worth $219.3 billion, a 27% increase on last year. Now, total Australian net wealth increased 18%, and 88% of that increase was house prices, which is illusory paper wealth since you have to live in the house and you have to buy another one if you sell it. The paper wealth in the share market fell 0.7% today, and it's now down 3.5% since the start of May. Software firm Appen jumped 30% before going into a trading halt after confirming media reports that a Canadian company called TELUS had made an unsolicited, non-binding, indicative takeover nibble worth $1.2 billion, if it happens. The question is, why do these things get leaked before management scrambles out a sheepish press release? The fall in the Australian market went against today's global trend. Iron ore went up last night while base metals and gold fell and the Australian dollar slipped back to 70.8 US cents. Economists at Morgan Stanley have produced a graph of per capita sales of goods and they've found that they're sitting 20% above the pre-pandemic trend. Sales of furniture, hardware, TVs and computers and clothes are all well above trend. So we've all got enough stuff now and we won't need to buy any more for a while and that means that the economy is much more vulnerable than usual to rate hikes. And that's finance. Thanks for watching. You can check out more finance news by clicking there and don't forget to click subscribe down there to get all the latest updates from ABC News.